Hey you guys, it's your girl Habarm, aka that bitch, head bitch in charge, period. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so I know I haven't been on YouTube in a minute, but I have been hustling per usual, period. So I just got back in, like, probably about an hour, hour and a half ago from a dinner date with a customer that I met at work the previous night. Um, the night I met him, he gave me $800, well, $900, 900 and something dollars, but I left for 900 after a tip out of it. Well, I had made, like, Thirteen hundred dollars, and but nine hundred of it came from him because we have to pay off the money for VIPs, and like all that, different clubs are different for their VIP amounts. So yeah, after that, I left the nine hundred from him, and then I had worked other customers that night and shit, and like yeah, but um yeah, so we went to dinner. He wanted to talk about business, partnership, and stuff like that. No mushrooms, right? No mushrooms. And then the red pepper flakes. He's trying to push my OnlyFans. I guess he's an OnlyFans consultant. And like, he wants to push my OnlyFans account. And I'm just like, yeah, like, I'm all here for the money, but I stopped doing my OnlyFans because I really don't want to do porn. And I feel like a lot of people that do OnlyFans are doing porn. So I just really did not want to be like, yeah, it was just not giving. But yeah, so he was like, oh, well, there's more options than that for OnlyFans. Like, He's basically trying to invest and like push my OnlyFans account to whatever I want to do, whatever I'm willing to do. You know, any bitch be doing anything. He kept texting me this morning when I woke up, and I originally was gonna ignore the fuck out of him because I was like, um, "Isn't that the same like fat white dude I ran off on?" But damn, can I not say that? So I was really gonna ignore the out of him but then i was like um yeah maybe i should respond because i really just was like maybe he may be talking about a bag he already paid 900 dollars just to talk yesterday like yeah we did the vip but he literally wanted to fucking talk like he just literally wanted to hear himself talk and he wanted to like it really was just a talking vibe basically like so yeah, we do the dinner. I texted him before and um, said, I make sure you bring the money to the dinner so that there's no like situation to where I have to go get it after the fact. Like I am definitely the type of motherfucking bitch that will get up and walk off on you. Fuck a reservation. Fuck all that shit if I don't got my coins, period. And he knew it too. He know to come correct. Just like the 50K dude when I told him I wasn't going on that boat ride. If he didn't have the 50K. And I remember to this day because he texted me the, the day of the boat ride. And was like, are you ready? And I didn't even ask him to have the money because I knew and he knew that I wasn't going unless he had the money. So, no bullshit. I personally, I hate going in public with customers. I just like so above that shit. Like I'm not a fucking escort. I feel like people be judging and thinking like, oh, she's doing this, she's doing that. Like in my mind, it's like, oh, look at my back with Lena. It's not just me. I'm just, it's late as fuck. But yeah, I'm definitely not on that vibe. Like if I'm going to do anything crazy for money, I'm going to say it and be like proud of my shit. So I just like. Wanted to do this, do this vlog because I feel like a lot of girls like, oh, like, could bar, like, especially a lot of the hating mad bitches. There was some shade to throw, but, like, they could never, period. And I just feel like a lot of people be, like, speculating and assuming this and that, but, like, you're not me. I'm not you. Whatever you're doing, I won't do. Ah. So, it's so funny because the customer is texting me right now, and he's letting me know that he's going to be back in town and that... 
he basically wants to branch off with OnlyFans shit. And, like, I personally was just so over the OnlyFans stuff because I just didn't like the look it gave. That to meet someone that was saying that there's other opportunities in that department. I was like, um, I'm going to think about it, but I'm not sure if I'm going to continue the gig. But I would definitely let you guys know if I do or I don't. Like, I know I should do a vlog more on, like, talking to customers. And that's why I even did this vlog tonight with somebody that I knew. Like, he's not married, so he's not going to freak out on camera and stuff like that. Because a lot of the guys that I do interact with at my job, ironically, they are married. But I really do not be gunning for married men. It's just, like... They be trying to spend their bag more discreetly and that just be right up my alley. Like, instead of some show up that, like, wants to, like, control you and, like, oh, I give her this. Like, shut the fuck up. We kind of established the fact that he's going to give me money for my time, regardless of what the fuck he's talking about. And, like, that was my goal, so. <laughs> I'm high as fuck. That restaurant that I went with, so the, that I went with. The guy to tonight the food was disgusting as fuck the cedar salad it was not as nice cedar definitely was giving lettuce all the way it was just not giving it was just not my type um yeah then they didn't have any good champagne so i got some wine then it was like yeah like i just want to keep you guys into what's going on i mean this customer is gonna come back around regardless I mean, I feel like he's gonna come back on with more money. We're gonna see if the only fan situation pops off. Is it if it's really about what he's talking about? Um, again, customers do just be talking, saying anything. So you really just never know. You gotta play everything like with the flow and just see what's going on. I personally just feel like girls shouldn't waste their time, like when it's not benefiting, it's time to move around. Um, but so far this is benefiting a little bit. I'm going to keep it real 100% with you guys. <laughs> so, yeah. Let me know if you guys have any questions, comments. Leave them below. Keep into it with your girlhood vibe. I'm always fuck with you because you're fucking with me. Period.